apparently, apparently, uh, I called her first. They can um, see us now, by the way. The, oh, show, nice. the show has started. Uh, so I was saying, Han, I wanted to meet your therapist because I need. I'm looking for a new therapist. But uh, oh, she's I guess amazing. Conversation's over. Let's move on. Uh, <laughs> hey, everybody! Welcome to uh, all your favorite game shows. We got five people watching so far. Uh, thank you for tuning in and watching us. What we've done is we've taken a bunch of your favorite game shows and we jammed them all together. We're going to play them tonight. And we got some of your favorite celebrities and or comedians to play it with you. They they will decide which, which one they are. Uh, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. But helping me with it, as always, is my scorekeeper and announcer, Steve Mandel, everybody. Give Steve a round of applause. Oh, Studio audience. Wait. I'm trying to get my, uh, there it is. Give Steve a round of applause, everybody. There it is. There's the applause button. Steve. Yeah, I'm doing this too for an hour. <laughs> How's it going? What's new with you? Um, I have uh, now entered the world of virtual reality. Yeah, show everybody your uh, virtual reality headset. We were playing it the other night. <laughs> yeah. So I got to tell you guys this. We, uh, Steve sends nice. out like a like a Facebook, like Facebook message. Hey, I got a new VR. Who wants to play games? So me and another guy and Steve are playing the VR games, right? We're just playing on our phone. And I'm like, hey, let's try this game. And Steve goes, okay, well, I have to stand up for this one. So let me go put on pants and turn off my camera. And so I see him stand up, walk to the back of the room, and then put on pants. And I'm like, ah, oh, nice one, Steve. He trolled us into putting on his pants. All right. Way to I go. I muted you so you couldn't hear me naked. Well, that was the best part is he comes back and starts talking. And I'm like, uh, you're muted, bro. And he goes, oh, yeah, I'm muted because I turned off my microphone instead of my camera. And you guys watched me put my pants on. And I was like, he's the subliminal troll. That's how good Steve is at trolling. He trolls you even when he doesn't mean to troll you. Makes you watch him put on pants. Hey, so lucky. Whatever. You're so lucky. <laughs> Steve, <laughs> Steve, have you seen this Zoom horror movie? It's called Host. It, I watched, uh, I watched I have, it on Shudder. It's very, very good. I have good. seen of it. I do not, I do not own a Shudder. Uh, it's, uh, you gotta pay for it. I don't think it's free anywhere, but I'm sure yeah. it'll be available other places. If you see it, it's called host. It's basically, it's a, sh it's shot on zoom. These women have a seance over zoom. It's really, it's really well done. It's only like an hour long, but it's fucking amazing. But it brings you me, me at only an hour long, <laughs> <laughs> but it yeah. brings me to my main point, Steve. Remember what we were talking about last show, how I predicted all these things in TV, like the new season of Hannibal I predicted and how zoom shows like this are the next big thing. You remember that, right, Steve? Uh, sure. Okay. I watched and I remember. So, um, the very next day, they announced the Emmy nominations, right? And guess what right. was nominated? Amy Schumer Learns to Cook, the first Zoom show on TV, is nominated for an Emmy. Exactly like I said. It's basically just her and her husband and their nanny, and they cook in their kitchen up in the mountains. And it's So what you're saying is we have a shot for 2021. I'm saying this will be a category <laughs> next year is what I'm fucking I, saying. I, I'm That's my for, next prediction. Mark my I'm, words. I'm a shoo in for best scorekeeper. <laughs> you're pretty good. But uh, let's look at the numbers before we start bragging, okay? I'll say this. I will, I will say this. Being able to predict the future but not making any money on it or not having it benefit me at all is not good. I realize it's a complete waste of time. I'm like Nostra dumbass. That's what I feel like. I can... And I'm back. <laughs> hey! Just in time, Celia. All right. Uh, anything else we want to talk about before we get this started, Steve? Oh, so many things. Let's talk. Let's, let's spend an hour talking about the vice presidential nomination. Oh man, how psyched are we for that? How weird is it that the same week Kamala Harris is nominated, uh, uh, Kamala, the wrestler, Kamala, the Ugandan giant, dies? That's right. really a weird coincidence. That was that was an odd coincidence. Yeah, I'm not gonna say. It was a big week for Kamala's. A big yeah. week for Kamala's. All right, is everybody ready to play this? It looks Woo. like everyone's yeah. you, you're in. Yeah. Excellent. All right, Steve, you ready? Let's uh, play. Where the hell is my mouse? There I'll, I'll be real. When I watched um when I watched a previous episode uh to see how everything is played, yeah. um I saw I basically just saw Sari talk about her UTI and then called her to see if she figured it out. And then 
completely forgot to watch the rest of the Zoom show. That's really what we tried to do here. We want to raise Same happened to me. I had a list of supplements to recommend. I was on it. It we doesn't matter because you. the rest of the show was just us talking about her UTI. So. And Andy, that is part of your prize as champion is you can talk about your UTI if you so desire. Every oh, champ fantastic. gets one. For some reason, every champ gets one. All right. Are we ready to play, Steve? We are. In that case, let's play The Price is Right. Brian Dunkelman, come on down. Here I am. Michael Michaels, come on down. Patrick Aiken, come on down. Jessica Loveless Chandler, come on down. Celia Contreras, come on down. And Andy Ashcraft, come on down. All right, everybody, welcome to the show. Oh, wait, let me switch that. Welcome. Our first game is uh, The Price is Right. You guys know how to play The Price is Right, I'm sure. I got a bunch of items here. I'm going to hold them up. Steve will describe them. And uh, then you guys bid on them. Whoever gets the closest without going over, uh, well, normally you win the prize, but you'll just get a point, all right? So whoever gets the closest without going over gets a point. And you want to score as many points as you can, of course, so you end up in the final round. Now, the big difference between the regular Price is Right and this version is that every item is $5 or less. All right? Do not bid more than $5. Everybody get that? Yeah. Sure. All right. So here we go. Uh, Steve, Wait. what? What? Yes, question? Yeah, where where were these bought? Because I feel like that's important. Uh, different places, but you can ask uh, any question for each one. Let's go okay. ahead and start, Steve. What's the first one? This first item up for bid is a Groot wooden plush puppet. Just press the bottom and watch him fall apart faster than the third act of a Marvel movie. All right, so it's one of those wooden puppets you press on the bottom, you know, and he goes all limp. And uh, this one is Groot from uh, from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, so let's start with the champ. Andy, how much do you think this is worth? I'd buy that for two ninety nine. Andy says two ninety nine. Jessica, what about you? I say three dollars. Three dollars from Jessica. Celia, did you get it on clearance? Yes, everything is bought on clearance. Uh, four ninety nine. Four ninety nine from Celia. Patrick, let's go two forty nine. Two forty nine from Patrick. Dunk. One dollar. Oh, he goes down to one dollar. Nice. And Hannah, you bid last. What do you think? Um, is this the original movie, or is does it is there any indication on when when this toy was released? Well, it's an official Marvel logo right there, so it is official uh, uh, merchandise. <laughs> Um, no, nah, there, it obviously was after, it says Guardians of the Galaxy, so I'm assuming it was after the first movie. After the first one. So yeah. what I'm trying to get at is, did it make it to the dollar store shelves? I'm going to say a dollar. Um, no, you said a dollar. I'm going to say one ninety nine. What are you going to say? I'm going to say one ninety nine. One ninety nine from Hannah Michaels. All right, Steve. The actual retail price is three twenty nine. dollars Jessica's our winner. Well Yay! done, Yay! Jessica. Wait, there it is. Oh, wait, wrong one. There it is. Well done, Jessica. You got it. All right. So that's a point for you, Jessica. Uh, and you get to bid first on this next item. Steve, tell them what it is. This next item up for bids is a Harry Potter wand that makes a magical sound. It's the sound of the person who got this gift. This is a gift, giving it to Goodwill. All right. So, yes, I got it at Goodwill. Everybody can hear the sound it makes. All right, over and over again. It's not annoying at all. All right, mm. so uh, oh, actually, Jessica, you bid last. So, Sally, you bid first this time because you got a uh, uh, you're you're first. What do you think? Me? Yeah. Four fifty. Four fifty from Celia Contreras. Patrick. Uh, let's go. Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine from Patrick Aiken. Brian. Two dollars and ninety-seven cents. Two ninety-seven from Brian Dunkelman. Uh, Hannah. Um, four ninety-nine. Four ninety-nine. That's a pricey Ooh. one. And Andy Ashcraft. I think this is a dollar. You gonna go one dollar? I'm gonna go one dollar. Okay, Jessica, you get to bid last since you were the champ. What do you think? Okay, I'm gonna say. 229. 229, a variety of bids. But who's taking it home, Steve? Uh, no one is taking this home. Everybody bid too high. Ah. Too high. 99 cents then. Way to go, guys. All right. So the lowest <laughs> bid was what? 
was one dollar. All right, so is, this is less than a dollar. So again, Celia, bid again, but bid less than a dollar. Uh, fifty cents. Celia says fifty cents. Patrick, seventy-five cents. Seventy-five from Patrick Dunkelman. Seventy-seven cents. Seventy-seven cents. Hannah Michaels. Uh, fifty-five. Fifty-five cents. Andy Ashcraft. A uh, quarter. Well, twenty-five cents. And Jessica. Uh, you said seventy-seven, right, Dunk? Yeah. I'm going to say 78. All right. She's going 78 cents. It's cutthroat. Steve, do we got a winner? We do. The actual retail price was 99 cents. Jessica is our winner. Well done, Jessica. Hey, She's nice on work. a roll. She's going to run away with it, guys. All right. This next item is so great. Uh, Steve, tell them what it's all about. Up next is a very cool Spider-Man wall lamp. You can light up the whole thing or just the eyes, depending on whether you prefer Tobey Maguire, Tom Holland, or Drake Bell. See there, it's all lit up, and then just the eyes light up there. So put it on your wall. Works perfectly. You just hang it on your wall, and you're like, damn, Spider-Man is watching me. Pretty fucking cool. All That's right. the best. Celia, you get to bid first. What do you think this is worth? $2.99. $2.99 from Celia. Patrick? $3.99. $3.99. Dunkelman? It seems like a higher end uh, product right there. I'm going to go 475. 475. That's a high bid. Uh, Hana? Uh, 450. 450 from Hana. Andy? Ooh, tough. Uh, uh, where did you end up buying this one? This is from Goodwill. This from, oh, it's also from Goodwill. Yeah. Uh, I will say. A uh, dollar forty-nine. All right, one forty-nine from Andy the Champ and Jessica. You're last. Did anyone say three dollars? I don't think so. Okay, then three dollars. There she goes, three dollars. Steve, who's got it? The actual retail price is four fifty. Anna is our winner. Well, Boom. way to Nailed go, it. Anna. The ladies are taking it home. All right, we got three more. Um, <laughs> where is it? All right, Steve, what's the next prize up for bids? Due to technical issues, we will no longer be offering DVDs of Not Another Teen Movie as a prize. The management apologizes and offers this prize in its, in its place. It's the DVD collection of the very first season of Will and Grace, featuring the Halloween episode Boo Humbug and this asshole. Trick or treats. <laughs> hey, nine C. Sure, we got it for Who's you. Face? Hmm. Hold on. Looks like all oh. I got left is half a Zagna. <laughs> There you go. I just wanted to show my scene from Will and Grace to the kids at home. You guys couldn't see Oh, it. there we go. But I was showing the clip of me on Will and there. Grace, which is included in this box set of the entire first season of Will and Grace. Every DVD there is there, and it is less than $5. So, Andy, you bid first. How much do you think that's this a, is worth? That's a, that's a steal at any price. Absolutely. I'm going to say... Uh, I'm gonna say two seventy nine. Two seventy nine from Andy. Jessica, what do you think? Oh, uh, I'm gonna say four fifty. Four fifty from Jessica. <laughs> Celia, what do you think this is worth? Uh, three. No, four twenty five. Four twenty five from Celia. Patrick. Ninety nine cents. Ah, oh, nice. Patrick seems like an expert. Brian Dunkelman, what do you say? Three dollars. Three bucks. And uh, Hannah, what do you think? Uh, just because it has the pre-Karen voice episodes, two bucks. <laughs> Pre-Karen voice episodes, two dollars. All right. Now, am I right in that Patrick is the only uh, homosexual on this panel? Not to call people out, but Pan yeah. Pan and queer count. I oh, okay. Yeah, we all count. I'm I've had plenty of those <laughs> in my mind. Yeah, I've always he's been in love with Steve. I was just didn't want him to have an unfair advantage on this particular item. <laughs> Because we know. Does my, the, does my relationship with Steve count? <laughs> That's just nature, is all that is. <laughs> all right, Steve. Down low. Who, who gets this? Oh, uh, the actual retail price is 400, uh, 429 Celia is our winner. Celia ah. Contreras ah. is getting a point. So, so far, all the ladies have scored. Nice. All the ladies are on the board, guys. You see how it goes. All right. These ones are brand new. I just got these at the store. Steve, what's next? 
This next item is a 30 pack of Mentos sugar free hard mints. Looking for a Halloween costume? Put these in your mouth, and whenever anyone asks, What are you supposed to be? Drink some Diet Coke and teach them a lesson about asking stupid questions. All right, so this is a, it's just a little pack of Mentos. Uh, there's 30 mints inside. So, Celia got it first. So, Patrick, you bid first on this one. One dollar and twenty nine cents. One twenty nine from Patrick Aiken. Brian, there's thir there's thirty in there. Yep. One dollar. Ah, nice. One dollar from the dunk. Hannah, what do you think? Uh, what were the two bits already? Sorry. <laughs> a dollar and uh, more than a dollar. Dollar oh, and one ninety nine cents. Ninety nine cents from Hannah. Andy, what do you say? I'm going to go a little higher. I'm going to say a dollar 79. That is a little higher. Jessica, what do you think? A dollar 80. 180 from Jessica LC and Celia you're, you're last. Did you get her from a gas station? Um this no, Albertsons I think. Um 204. 204 from Celia. Steve, everybody overbid on this one. Oh, you guys. <laughs> All right. Really? What was the uh, lowest bid? The lowest bid was 99 cents. All right. So this is less than 99 cents. All right. Uh, All right. So uh, once again, Patrick, you get to bid first. I feel like this is less than 99 cents. It's going to be a response I have to a lot. 89 cents. <laughs> 89 from Patrick. Brian? 50. 50 cents from Brian. Hannah? Uh, 75. 75 from Hannah. Andy? Ooh, um, 65. 65 from Andy. And Jessica? Uh, I'll go with 51. 51 from Jessica. And Celia, you're last. I said 204. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Everybody's bid is in. Steve? The actual retail price is 90 cents. Patrick is our winner. There you go, Patrick. There all we right. go. Got a dude up on the board. All right. I know. Do it. Right there. That's fucking nice. Good stuff. All right. One more item. Last chance to score some points. Steve, what is it? This last item up for bid is a 4.6 ounce tube of Colgate toothpaste with coconut oil. Need a vacation but can't afford it? Just brush with this stuff, add a little sand, and you'll think you just woke up on a tropical beach. There you go. It's crest with coconut oil. We all love to brush our teeth with the flavor of coconut, right? Absolutely. Uh, all right, so Patrick got that one. So, Brian, you get to bid first. What do you think? Coconut oil, really, it's really, really is so versatile. I'm going to go with uh, 199 199 Brian. Hannah, what do you think? Is that standard size? This is... Uh, yeah, it's a four four point six ounce tube. Okay. Um, that I know nothing about toothpaste sizes. I don't know why. I I, I uh three bucks. Three bucks from Hannah Andy. Hmm. I'm gonna go two o nine. Two o nine from Andy and uh, Jessica. I'll say two ten. Two ten from Jessica and Celia. What's your bid? Two ninety nine. Celia says two ninety nine. Uh, okay, Steve, who gets it? I didn't vote. Oh wait, who didn't who didn't bid? Oh Patrick, right, because you got the Patrick. you got it last Patrick. time. Patrick, you get the last bid. Sorry. Um, let's go. Did someone say three ninety nine? No. Nope. I would like to take three ninety nine. And that's what he's gonna say. All right, Steve, who's got the last prize? The actual retail price is three fifty. Hana is our winner. Hana, well done. You got another prize. Good job, Hana. I'm gonna play all the ding a lings for you. Wait, there it is. All right, good job. So you got yourself another point and another prize. Good job. That is the end of the prices right round. Uh, so now that now that we're all into it, everybody is uh, has been able to uh, get in and loosen up. Why don't we get take a break and meet everybody, Steve? What do you say? Sure. Okay. Introduce yeah. our contestants. You may remember Brian Dunkelman from Two Guys, A Girl, and a Pizza Place, Dharma and Greg, but probably know him best from hosting season one of American Idol. Matt Brian Craig. Dunkelman. Woo. We know each other from back in the old days, huh? 
Way back. It's good to see you again, King. Things have changed a lot, though. Uh, last time I saw you, you did not have a child. Now I see you got a kid. He's a handsome young man. Yeah, he's in the bedroom. Tell people about watching the, hobby kids. Tell people about the channel you guys do. Oh yeah, we do a YouTube channel. It's uh, we just play video games. It's uh, youtubecom slash the dunks. <laughs> and uh, every week we do a video. We do a video game from his generation, and then we play like uh, Frogger, so one from mine. So we just kind of alternate. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Okay. We're that's making great. pandemic aid, is what we're doing. It's great. It's a great show because also your the screen. Thank you. It's you fun. Got, you got good uh, graphics and stuff too. So yeah, oh, I, I watched Thanks, the Frogger bro. one. I thought that was very cool. You guys doing? Ah uh, yeah, yeah. I we're having a good time. He's uh, seven and a half now. Oh, yeah. Sounds nice. like you've got good graphics and a reason to appreciate good graphics. Yeah, so right? Now, exactly. now you can brag about that and people might go, oh, that's kind of cool, instead of not knowing what mm -hmm. it is. I always wanted to tell you this story. For um, Obviously, we all remember Brian co-hosted the first season of American Idol. Uh, um, but I remember when the because when that show started nobody knew what it was and I remember it was on during the summer and I remember talking to producers after the fact and they all said, Every American thought it was going to bomb. Nobody in America thought it was going to be a big hit. But they wanted a, a, a duo just like the English version, these guys, Ant and Deck. So I, a lot of people, Scott Aukerman and BJ uh, audition, like every comedy team. Did so, they really? Yeah, they auditioned together. So obviously they, they took a comedian and a DJ and, <laughs> and made magic. But I remember a week before. It was that, magic. Yeah, without a doubt. But <laughs> a week before that happened, we were both at the yeah. Laugh Factory. And uh, it wasn't even the regular show. I think we were just doing like drop-ins or whatever and just kind of fucking around. So there was ha hardly anybody there. It was mostly staff. And of course, nobody was getting laughs. And at one point in your act, you go, you know what? I'm going to be on TV next week. Fuck you, people. <laughs> and I was like, Don't you people know who I'm about to be? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, really? Who gives a fuck? He's going to be on Fox like three times a week next week because I knew what the show was. And then it was huge. And it was like, holy shit, Dunk's a millionaire now. Those were good times. Yeah, I bet, man. That was awesome. Well, I appreciate you taking Now I'm doing time. a YouTube channel. <laughs> this is where we all are, bro. I appreciate And by the way, my, my, my son is by far the most talented co-host I've ever worked Kid's with. Kid's a so genius. Please check it <laughs> out. Absolutely. All right, thanks we're for We're up playing. to like 370. We're at like 375 subscribers. It's awesome. It's so a good channel, man. Jump on while you guys are awesome. it blows up. The dunks on YouTube. Thanks for Before joining start us, charging. Ryan. Thanks for having me, Thank buddy. You. All right, Steve, who's next? Uh, Anna Michaels is a depressive pixie dream girl who likes the sound of dogs chewing, but hates the sound of her mother chewing. Oh, now that's uh, that's interesting. I mean, ish. I'm going to say interesting ish that uh, that you have such a uh, uh, specific love and hate for certain sounds. I, I, I really generally in intros, you don't need somewhere to go conversationally. Uh. <laughs> well, what what is your what would you say is like because uh am i wrong in saying you have a lot of hang-ups would that be a fair assessment of you hannah i think that's more than fair okay um, so, so what yeah. would you say is probably the most annoying thing to you not like thing that makes you stressed and you need to take a xanax but the thing that makes you so annoyed you gotta just <laughs> okay first of all um how do you know my prescription and what I've been begging for since my doctor cut me off? Um, I'm not even kidding. Yeah, I got a lot of experience with that. This bar is not a substitute. It is bullshit. Um, <laughs> what's the, what's worse all, than your mother? What's worse than your mother chewing? Is there anything what's worse than worse that? Worse than my mother chewing? Oh well, uh, a lot of things. Um, <laughs> uh, Right now, I mean, it's not funny. It's just people wearing their masks like this is a reality. Oh, it's yeah, not... that's pretty annoying. But you can't yeah. see them chewing. Didn't you used to work for Macaulay Culkin, or do you still do that? I did. I did. Um, he has a very short attention span. I do not anymore. Um, <laughs> oh, so he was on board, and then one day he went, do you work here? And I mean... Pretty much that, yes. All right. Well, that was a, a an online thing, right? Bunny ears. Yeah, it was. It was like a satire site. It was a. It was a. a, a... Child stars can just do what they want. Like, Why not? He's already. They they he's can just. Now. I'm gonna do a satire site one day, and and that's he's gonna Andy Kaufman his reputation at some point. That's that's the goal. And so, um, I'm should. sorry, but I'm sorry for saying that because I I just ruined it for the people watching this. <laughs> well, now we're all ready. For Spoiler it. alert! Way to go! Um, is it, can you still see that? Is that still online or? 
is that it 404? Is still, it is still online. Um, it is still, he's, he's still paying for the domain and probably not realizing that he's still paying <laughs> for the domain. Yeah, um, probably. He's just hemorrhaging yeah. money over there. All right. Well, uh, uh, Hana, uh, uh, thank you for dollars a month. Thank you for playing our game. Uh, we appreciate you being here. Uh, I can tell you one. Th- oh, sorry. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Um, I saw a guy ID him at like a Seven Eleven. Looked at look at his ID and go Macaulay Culkin. Isn't that like you know? Aren't you blah blah blah? And he goes, Isn't that guy addicted to heroin? <laughs> <laughs> he has a really good sense of humor. He is actually. funny. Did you <laughs> see those episodes of? Uh, uh, that show he Jim, uh, the fuck is his name? Uh, uh, never mind, I can't think of his name. That's that the, guy, yeah. yeah, Jim Gaffigan. He did a bunch of episodes of Jim Gaffigan's show on, uh, oh. I think, Amazon. It was very funny. He played himself. It was very funny. Uh, all right, thanks for joining us, Hannah. I appreciate it. Uh, Steve, who's next? Uh, Patrick Aiken is a Phoenix-based gay comedian who likes his men like he likes his wine, dark and imported. Ah, nice. Uh, uh, people think I was outing you. But uh, no, not outing you at all. I mean, this shirt says <laughs> gay right shirt. there. Yeah, right? I didn't know I was gay until Paul said I was. <laughs> Where did I get this shirt? Well, here's yeah. the thing. I got, Patrick, I got good news and I got bad news. Yeah. <laughs> the good news is you're gay. Uh, the bad news is you live in Arizona. Um, uh, we've, oh! we've just proven every assertion by the Republican Party. The liberal media is turning people gay. Literally. Look, yeah. he's playing, been playing his game 25 minutes. He's already gay. Uh, Patrick, Run for your lives, Andy and Brian. Get out of here. <laughs> Patrick, you uh, you do comedy all around the uh, all all around the uh, the Phoenix area. Yeah. Are you still doing live comedy? Because I'm certainly not. It's been a minute. Last show I did was back in June that was live. Um, How did that it, feel? Uh, it felt good. felt out of practice, but it also felt very irresponsible, but it was fun, you know? Okay, so, that's good. And Sally is doing a show live right now, so. I know. She's, I got, mean, a, she's got more balls than any of us. Um, what else? Uh, if people wanted to see uh, your comedy and uh, like stuff you do online, where, where would be the best place to see that, Patrick? I do have a YouTube channel. Uh, You can also check out my website at (laughs) patrickakenwastaken.com. There really is a Patrick Aiken who has that domain name. And so I decided patrickakenwastaken.com. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's so fucking brilliant. And if I ever get abducted and someone tries to, like, put up a website to track me down, they can't use Patrick Aiken was taken. They have to use (laughs) patrickakenwastaken.com. Or was kidnapped or abducted. No, 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 it needs to keep rhyming. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I'm, I, I have already bought Patrick Aiken is abducted. Patrick Aiken is kidnapped. Patrick Aiken is missing. I own all those. So if you if you get married, will you change it to Patrick Aiken is taken? <laughs> but I appreciate that. You think I'm going to get married? Oh, <laughs> anybody would be lucky to have you, man or woman. You're quite a catch. All right, Patrick. Sure. Thanks for joining us. Steve, who's next on the list? Uh, Jessica Loveless Chandler is a preschool teacher who's appeared on five game shows and only lost miserably on a few of them. (laughs) (laughs) Now, Jessica, you and I have something in common in that we were both on At Midnight before Uh it went away. And you won the the challenge, right? Right. So the points me, um, they uh, liked... The um, the hashtag wars I was playing, and um, it was a contest where if you tweeted some funny stuff, I did actually have to audition once they selected a oh, final. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so they selected, I think, like 20 different people to audition. Um, so okay. it wasn't just like a random fluke. But wow, I, that's actually pretty I, impressive <laughs> that you beat out 19 other people. I think so, yeah. yeah. Was, well, because cool. the, the other people they did, I think Chris Cubis uh was the first guy who's also a comic and then the second right. guy was not a comic he's a blogger who's just very funny. yeah i heard he was very much not a comic he was so. kind of like on the spectrum he was one of those guys who's very funny but you know a weird right. um but you were perfect uh let, tell me this did you have to stand on a box no but um uh paul did so no uh, way am i thinking his name right um well you were on what? with with paul f tompkins Right, Paul of Tompkins, and because what's his face? Um, Brodler is so tall that right. they had him on a box, but I wasn't. Really, so you didn't want to do it. I wanted him to look taller than me, I guess. I guess. Yeah. Well, you certainly stood out because you were um, cute, cute as a button on that show. What other game uh, shows were you on? Um, I was on uh, Catch Twenty One, Cash Cab, 
uh, <laughs> let's make a deal. And I was on this short-lived ABC show called Duel, where I won $30,000. Now, I remember nice. Duel. Duel, they yeah. used to team up two uh, similar teams, like renters versus homeowners. So what no, was... No, that's not the same show. Isn't that it? No, it was two people. Oh. It was just only two people uh, versus each other. And you had to pick the person that you thought was going to be the least smart. And I, I showed up in my cute little green dress and acted all cute and stuff. And so <laughs> they picked me. Uh, it was a history teacher who picked me, and I beat him on a history question. <laughs> I was very excited about that. And because you're a teacher, so that works out. That's nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, I did want to ask you about this because I, uh, not like we we're tight, but I knew you back when I lived in L.A. And I always thought, is she really that pretentious that she has a hyphenated name but that's your whole family has a hyphenated name yeah it's not it's just from my, um, it's from my parents actually decided to both hyphenate their names mm. uh, by the way shout out to my parents it's their 48th wedding anniversary today shout out to the uh, lovelace uh, channel yeah. Uh, yeah thanks for and they're watching so thanks for doing that uh, on your anniversary they're two of the yeah. they're two yeah. two of the 12 people who are in the chat room well done <laughs> By the, the way, Paul, by the way, Paul, I used to love uh, Beat the Geeks, and I'm still very excited to know you in real life. So, yeah, um, it's nice when people still say that so many years afterwards. That's one of the reasons I do this show, and I make sure I book someone who always remembers the show. <laughs> uh, so, we're now done talking to you. Thanks, Jessica. <laughs> okay, All right, <laughs> Steve, who's next? Celia Contreras is an aspiring stand up comedian who is looking for her chance to sell out. Celia. There you go. What's up? Hey, what's up? So you're actually at a show tonight. You went up on stage. Yes, so it just went up. <laughs> How did it go? I kicked ass as normal. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Nice. That's good. Now, uh, for people who don't know you, you are quite the kick-ass comedian. Um, I, uh, this, uh, this past uh, Big Pine Comedy Festival last year, uh, I remember... Um, I got a message that you were looking for a ride up there and I was headed up that day but tell people where you needed to be picked up that day yeah where, I had letter here <laughs> tell people where you were when I picked you up I was at the psych ward I checked myself in the week before because I was having unhealthy thoughts and I wanted to uh, combat that so Celia very responsibly checks herself into the nut house and then sends out a tweet hey who can give me a ride to the Big Pine Comedy Festival? I had to have a friend send out the tweet because I'm All not right. allowed internet access when you're in the psych ward. So I drive up to the to hospital. Hot and I can both vouch for that, by the way. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So I drive up there and I go in and get her and we fucking drive up to Big Pine. And that night she gets on an open mic and basically has the best set of that night and then gets a set later on uh, in the big show in fucking Big Pine. That's how Celia Contreras fucking does it, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for her. And a stage slip. Hardcore. I, I mean, honestly, I, I get there, in the nut house, and uh, the last thing uh, I wanted to do when I got out was tell jokes or listen to them. Um, but uh, you killed it, and uh, as opposed to killing yourself. So that was a good thing. <laughs> Um, where are you now? What's the show? I'm at El Charo Hipster. It is in downtown Phoenix, Arizona. Even if you're not doing comedy, they have lit, like they have great vegan options. If you're about that life, I'm not. <laughs> they have cool shit you can eat. Like they have crickets. Wow. Okay. Um, that's not. They are known though. for their like badass cocktails. They have. If are you got some extra money, money and you're feeling fancy, ball? I'd recommend getting the Antonio Banderas. Yeah, talk to the uh, manager every... there and tell him that we're looking for sponsors. What's up? Talk to the manager at El Charo. Tell him we're looking for sponsors for the show. I will let them know. They're doing better now. <laughs> it was like I was scared because like once COVID started, they thought they were gonna have to close down. Yeah. And I'm like, no. Anything it's my in favorite that place mic. is worse than COVID, anyways. Oh. All right. Thank you for playing, Celia. Who's left, Steve? Andy Ashcraft is a freelance game designer from Los Angeles. Married to the very funny Jackie Cation, a longtime friend of Steve Mandel, willing to steal wins from smarter contestants. <laughs> That's right. That pretty much covers everything uh, from the last game for sure. So, Andy, you're our current right. champion. You played last right. week and you beat Sari Beliak, who was the champion. Uh, what do you think your odds are now that you've seen all the uh, all the contestants who are going to try to take the belt? Who? Uh, what do you? How do you think you're going to do? 
oh, I think my odds are about the same as they were last week, which is nil. Uh, and, and, I snaked, and I snake the win because sometimes you roll well. Sometimes you just roll well. That's true. Sometimes, sometimes you, you roll draw that you draw. Sometimes, sometimes you draw you the four 20, aces. Sometimes you that's roll what's one. Like, true. Yep. All right. Well, uh, well. Um, any, do you want to give a plug to your uh, to your online deal before we move on? Well, I'll I'll, I'll plug my wife. Uh, she's got hey, she's got whoa, a several whoa, shows. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is, this is all. Whoa, wait till the stuff. show is over. Nobody wait till the show is over. Games. I just turned this off the mature cool. content. I don't make me turn it back on. All right. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> for those who don't know, Andy is married to the very funny Jackie Cation who played last week with us. Uh, but Andy shut her down like he did everybody else. And she has her Dork Forest uh, 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 podcast and the Jackie and Laurie show podcast. And uh, and all of those things are way, making way more money than my game design career. So, so you know, <laughs> right, let's just well, double down. That's what I'm saying. That's good to hear, actually, that those are, the podcasts are making a lot of money. That's good to hear. That is. Somebody's doing it. All right. She's uh, let's go ahead. Is that everybody, Steve? That was everybody. Excellent. All right, let's move on. Everybody remembers hashtag wars from at midnight. Uh, yeah, 24 hours ago, I gave everybody a hashtag, told them to write as many funny uh, responses as they could to that hashtag. I'm going to put a minute on the clock, and we're just going to go one by one. And uh, and if you get a uh, if you get a point. Uh, if you get a laugh, you get a point. No laugh, no point. And then we'll total them up at the end, all right? So the hashtag I gave everybody was one letter off TV. One letter off TV was the hashtag. Examples would be this is pus or little hose on the prairie, right? Little hose on the prairie. So as long as it's one letter off, it qualifies. Are we ready? All right, let's, let's start with Andy. Hit me. All right, a very sweet little show from 1960 called Candied Camera. <laughs> Candied Camera, all right. Jessica? The Big Wang Theory. The Big Wang Theory, nice. Patrick? General Hoshittle. <laughs> General Hoshittle, wow, not a good place to go. Brian? Uh, Charlie's Anals. <laughs> nice, it works. Uh, perfect. You. It does work. Hannah? Uh, how I Pet Your Mother. Oh, that was <laughs> nice. How I Pet Your Mother. I like that one. Celia, what do you got? I've got the Cumbrella Academy. The Cumbrella <laughs> Academy. Yes. Very hip. Very timely. All right. Andy? Walt Disney's Wonderful World of Colon. <laughs> <laughs> the world is a carousel of colon, colon, colon. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Jessica? Fappy Days. Fappy Days, sure. Uh, Very or nice. that show with Chris Maloney and Pat Oswalt. Fappy. Uh, <laughs> Patrick? 21 Hump Street. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Dunkelman? America's Got Taint. <laughs> <laughs> Points! Holy shit. Gorgeous. <laughs> oh my god. Nice. Uh, Hannah, what do you got? I wrote the Jew girl and then in parentheses put <laughs> offensive exclamation point. <laughs> but you're Jewish. You can say that, right? Right? <coughs> yeah. All right. As I long, mean, I can't. As long as you said it, I can laugh. That's all I care about. All right. <laughs> Celia, what do you got? I love Busey. <laughs> I get it. Sure, it works. Busey. Yeah, I, I do too. I'm a big fan. Andy, I got the Sunny and Chef show. All of mine are food. All of mine are food related. Very nice. Oh, I like that you went with a theme. I always tried to go with a theme as well. I like that. All right, uh, Jessica. Who wants to be a millionaire? Whoa, that could be a real show. I'm on board. <laughs> Patrick, WWE Macdown. Nice. All right, Brian. I dream of Gene. <laughs> I assume you mean Mean Gene Okerlund. Who else? <laughs> oh, fuck, that's gorgeous. Hannah. Uh, oh, uh, just beep. I, I assume I was thinking of Veep. <laughs> so beep. not Veep, but Beep. Yeah, I, I, Is it a show about the Roadrunner I, running for president? Or 
<laughs> that was me. That was me. Yeah. No, that's that about was... that's about Beaker from the Muppet Show. Right? <laughs> Beep is an inside look at British Petroleum. All right, we've gotten away from it. <laughs> Celia, what's your next one? The Orifice instead of the Office. Yeah, the Orifice. Excellent. I was hoping someone would do that. Uh, well done. I like it. It's vague and genderless. All right, we got one more. Everybody bring out your best one. We're going to do one more. Andy, go Oof. ahead. Oh, let's see. Uh, the best wing. The best wing. Wait, how is that food related? Oh, like well, a, a, chicken wings. Yeah, chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of your restaurant. Come on down to Andy's, wing. the best wing. <laughs> we got the best <laughs> wings you'll ever try. All right, nice. Jessica? Uh, this st stars Emily Deschanel and David Bory Anus, and it's called Boners. <laughs> sure, David Bory Anus, absolutely. Uh, Patrick? <laughs> I might be trying to get some points with this one, but uh, beat the Greeks. Oh! Ah. Steve wrote, eat the geeks. So there you go. That was a, a theme for sure. We like to write some in case someone doesn't uh, come up with any. Steve wrote some nice ones. The flush is my favorite. And now I feel bad for not for not going with eat the, Gre eat the geeks. Yeah, that's what Steve did. Eat the geeks <laughs> or eat the Greek salad. Uh, Brian, what did you have? What's your best one? I have too many, man. I have too many. Know, I'm gonna I go. Know. It's either yeah. I'm either I'm either gonna go with Welcome Back Otter. I like that. Or one. I'm gonna go with Goat Hunters. Well, I'll tell you, when I used to go to the zoo with my kids, every time we'd go to the otter pen, I used to say that. I swear to God, I'd go, "Hey, what? welcome back, otter," and my <laughs> right. kids would be like, "You're dumb." Uh, so, what was the no, other your one? Kid, your kids are dumb. Yeah, that's uh, true. Goat that's Hunters. Funny. Goat Hunters. I like that one better. All right. I love Bob. <laughs> Anna, what'd you say? I think I did a lot of shit in parentheses just for myself. Um, I have Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and then in parentheses, less invasive, which I guess is technically true. <laughs> Wait, what is know. it? Buffy, Buffy the... the Vampire Spayer. Oh, Spayer. <laughs> I for dogs. She's you know, helping. I'm going to adopt a dog. So she's fixing the vampires so they can't breed, is what you're saying. Yeah, it's a long-term plan. It's responsible, at least. Could have been Buffy the Vampire Layer too. Like she could. Layer. I mean, that's. I think that's, that's also descriptive I, of the show. I think that's actually a real porn for real. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> um, all right, Celia, you're our last one. Send us home. I'm sad because I wrote a fuck ton of these because I thought we'd be doing more. Um, <laughs> shit. Once upon a time. Once upon, once upon a time. A time. Nice. I like to think of it as poop on a time. All right. Wow, that was some good stuff. Excellent round, everybody. All right, Steve, Yay. let's uh, recap the scores and see where everybody is, and we'll move on to the next round. We have Jessica in the lead with six points, followed by Hanna, Celia, and Patrick with five points each, and then Andy and Brian with four points each. Yes. Very game. close. All right, it's anybody's game still. Let's move on to the next round, which is, of course, everyone's favorite, the match game. You guys know how to play the match game, of course. Now, we do it a little differently. I have some questions with a blank in them. I'm going to read them, and then you guys are going to write down your best response. Now, you're trying to match Steve, all right? So I will read the question. I'll give you guys time to fill in the blank, and then we'll go to Steve. So everybody who matches Steve will get one point. But I will also give a point to the most popular answer. All right, if, it, if anybody gets the most popular answer, you will all get uh, one point as well. And uh, I will, if you get the most popular answer and you match Steve, I'll give you three points. So this is really a good time Wait, to- Wait, uh, so do you mean most popular by other people said it or other people liked it? Other people said it. The most popular on the panel, on the dais. Okay. So, whoever... so the least creative and unique. Okay, go Well, ahead. yeah, exactly. Well, because sometimes Steve doesn't go for the obvious answer and everyone okay. else does, and I like to reward that. Not like other guys. Not at all. He's a loner. <laughs> He's not. I've checked. A rebel. All right, so everybody gets it? Here we go. Here's the first one. Get your uh, answers ready. Uh, I took are we a... writing these down or are we... Um... Yeah, you're going to write, write your answer down on a piece of paper, whiteboard, whatever you got available. I know, Celia, you're, you know, got a napkin and a pencil maybe handy. Whatever you got, whatever you're working with, we're good. There you go. Celia's good to go. All right, here we go. Here's the first one. I took a part-time job as an undercover dog catcher. Last weekend, 
I spent the whole day dressed as a blank. Yeah, I took a job, a part-time job as an undercover dog catcher. And unfortunately, last weekend, I had to spend the whole day dressed as a blank. By the way, for uh, you 12 viewers at home, if you have any questions or anything you'd like to ask me or the panel, feel free to enter it into the chat and uh, I will happily pass that on as long as it's not a stupid question. Um, all right. Uh, I hope everybody has time to write their answers down. So, Steve, yeah, I know you heard about this. But I had to take this part-time job oh, yeah. as an undercover dog catcher. Uh, unfortunately, last weekend, I spent the whole day dressed as a... Fire hydrant. Fire hydrant makes perfect sense, I think. Okay. So we're looking for fire hydrant. Uh, you match fire hydrant, you get a point. So Andy, uh, I was a part-time dog catcher last weekend. I spent the whole day dressed as a... Andy said fire hydrant. Well done, Andy. All right, that's one point Patrick for Andy. Patrick did too. Well, we'll get to you. Relax. Oh. Uh, Andy, that's one yeah. point for Andy. Yeah. I got excited, sorry. All right. No, uh, no, I, thought, I thought we were all re revealing at the same time. So. Uh, you never seen Match Game? Come on. Jessica? Well, you're doing it differently. What did you say? I said a bone. A bone. Dressed as a bone. That's all right. That's a good answer, but no match. Patrick, we're looking for fire hydrant. A fire hydrant, maybe? Yeah, fire. well done. He's excited. So that's now the most popular answer. So that means Andy and Patrick both have three points. Well done. Uh, Dunk, yeah. what would you say? Yeah. Spe spent the whole day dressed as a? Mine with the bone. A bony yeah. bone. So oh, that's a tie, a tie now. For so that might change to be the most popular answer. As of now, they both are. But we got two answers left. Hannah, we're looking for fire hydrant. What'd you say? Uh, I actually, I don't have a piece of it. I typed it. Uh, <laughs> That's okay. What'd you say? <laughs> I deleted fire hydrant and wrote my leg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I spent the whole weekend disguised as my own leg. Oh, man, I like that. It's very... I like that you totally That's could a have much lied better answer. Yeah, yeah. I like that one, too. It's very postmodern. Uh, yeah. but yes, thank you for your honesty. We appreciate that. All right, Celia, we're looking for uh, fire hydrant or bone. We'll also get you points. What'd you say? I went with a bitch. <laughs> Spent the whole no, day dressed dress as up. a bitch. You're supposed to dress up, Celia. Yeah, that's what I. That's actually how I spend my days off. Um, all right, so it was a tie. So that means uh, that's three points for Andy, three points for Patrick, three points for Brian, and three points for Jessica. Right? Is that for everybody? Two, two for Brian and two for Jessica because they didn't yeah. match. My yeah. Oh, because they didn't match. You're right. I'm sorry. All right. So, yeah, two Jess, two Leave Brian. Leave the matching to me. There you go. Thanks. Okay, Steve. <laughs> Thank you. That's why I that's why He has one job on this ship. Let him fucking do it. <laughs> and you will let him do it. Yeah, right. All right. Here we go. Here's the next question. Dumb Dora is so dumb. How dumb is she? How dumb, dumb is she? Is she? Wow, that was a fucking, that sucked all the energy out of me. I'm a husk <laughs> now. I'm dead. I'm a skeleton. <laughs> dumb Dora is so dumb that she brought an, she bought an eggplant at the store and she took it home, tried to blank it. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Dumb Dora is so dumb, she bought an eggplant at the store and then she took it home and tried to blank it. Also, for those of you who are watching at home or watching this after the fact, uh, if you'd like to play with all of our hilarious comedians and uh, celebrities, go ahead and send me a note on the Facebook or through my email, and uh, we can work it out. I always like to have the regular people play. I like to keep us keep us grounded. All right, uh, Steve. Um, dumb door is so dumb that she bought an eggplant, took it home, and tried to blank it. What do you think? She tried to water it. That's what you do with all your plants. I almost wrote that. <laughs> water. So you either go with the egg or the plant, but she tried to water it. But uh, that would be, I don't know, it might work actually. It's a plant. But water is what we're looking for. Andy, what did you say? What dumb Dora do to that eggplant? Scramble it. Yeah, there you go. Because it's an egg, right? Man, she's dumb. No match though. Jessica, what would you say? I almost said water, but then I went with sit on it. <laughs> Why? Was she Fonzie? Yeah, that would be dumb Fonzie. <laughs> She's Hornsy. Hornsy. Dumb Fonzie is so right. dumb. Hey. All right. Patrick, uh, no match so far. We're looking for watered it. What'd you say? She tried to marry it. Wow. <laughs> that is dumb. 
man, she want, she's got that objectophilia or whatever. I like that. Uh, yeah, I don't want to. Sh- I don't want to shame her. I kind of feel bad now. We love a. I mean, we love who we love, right? <laughs> All right. Anyway, no match. Uh, Brian, what'd you say? Crack. <laughs> uh, egg pine. Another egg joke. All right, but not a match. Everyone so far zero matches of anybody. No one has said the same answer twice. Uh, Hannah, what are you gonna say? She tried to text it, and that's not readable. I need. Oh, uh, we can see it. What's it? She tried to text it. Text. text it, man. She's dumb. Uh, all right, no matches. Celia, last chance. What'd you say? Dumb door is so First dumb. First of all, I'm better than all of you. I put water it. Oh, she tried to water it. Hey, look at that. Well done. All right. So that's a point for Celia. Good job. You match Steve. That means you and Steve think alike. All right. Next question. I'm proud of that. <laughs> Here we go. I knew I shouldn't have bought a blow-up doll from Wish. When I unpacked it, it looked just like blank. You, I'm, I missed the third word in that. You, you bought a blow-up doll from where? I knew I shouldn't have bought a blow-up doll from Wish. When Wish, I, thank when, you. When I unpacked it, it looked just like blank. All right, someone in the chat says their mind went to the gutter with your answers, Jessica. So you got a fan. That's Manda Hala. Oh, that's Mandy. That's Amanda. <laughs> I'll take it. She's a yeah. fan. She's a fan of your gutter answers. All right. <laughs> so Steve, uh, man, I knew I shouldn't have bought that blow up doll from Wish. When I unpacked it, it looked just like Paul Goble. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. <laughs> I'd be into that. I'm not gonna lie. I'll be 100 percent honest. If I unpack the sex, you are 100 percent their demographic. Yeah, for real. If I unpacked a sex doll that looked like myself, I wouldn't show it to my wife. That's for sure. Um, all right. I'd keep it all to myself. So we're looking for Paul Goebel, Andy. I know you usually write that on all your checks. Oh, what are you doing, you son of a... All right. He cheated. Did he cheat? You originally said Godzilla. Was... Well, we'll take the Godzilla. All right. So uh, you wanted to say Paul Goebel, but you said Gorilla. Gojira. Uh, no match there. Jessica, we're looking for me, Paul Goebel. What'd you say? Hey, that's me. Oh. She did it. Hey. Like, oh, she didn't Jessica. even that's cheat. That's which Paul. Which Paul, Paul was it? Paul F. Tompkins. No, Paul I didn't know how to say your last no. name, so I didn't write those, it. Those oh. Paul F. Tompkins dolls are very oh, expensive. Oh, it's you, Paul. It's yeah, me. I know. It's always me. But they come with five different outfits. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why they're so expensive. <laughs> they come with like a hound's tooth, a tweed, okay. like really nice suits. Uh, always our... go tight. <laughs> Patrick, we're looking for me. What'd you say? Holy oh shit. yeah, there we go. All global. All right, that's now the most popular answer. So uh, Jessica and Patrick have three points. Uh, I get an extra point for using your last name. Well, did Jessica. you spell it correctly? G O E B E L. Well done. All right, points Yay. people take note. Brian, we're looking for me. What'd you say? I I I, I didn't have a I didn't really understand Linda. the question. <laughs> is this Linda? Is this somebody I know? I would be it's so the generic, It's the generic Linda. Linda. All right. Well, I like that because you didn't go with Karen. You went with Linda, yeah. which uh, <laughs> means something special to you. I like it. All right. You wanted a Karen. Yeah. You ordered Karen I ordered the Karen That's and the I got part. the Linda, God damn it. Oh, my God. You know. Uh, uh, Hannah, we're looking for me. What would you say? I don't know if you can read that. Uh, a beach ball. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. A.K.A. Paul Goble. Wait a minute. <laughs> uh so beach ball is not a match i'm sorry but uh close um last chance celia <laughs> you look very fancy with that cigarette holder uh what'd Thank you, you say I is wish, fancy. like i was close but i put mr meeseeks <laughs> yes i'm often compared to mr meeseeks i'd fuck <laughs> the shit out of a mr meeseeks i'm not gonna lie all right no match there so uh Patrick and Jessica matched, and they got the most popular answer, so points there. All right. Nice. So, nice work. Good job, guys. Two more Patrick questions. The last name. Now, mm-hmm. uh, I, I do have to tell you guys that it's important to score points because at the end of this round, the two people <laughs> with the lowest amount of points will be eliminated. All right? So I got to grab more paper. Give me two seconds. Okay. So at the end of this round, the two people with the lowest amount of points will be eliminated and uh, won't be able to come back until the end of the game. So... Uh, we got two questions left, all right? <coughs> Here we go. Here's your next one. You ready, Jessica? Yes. All right. Just got back from a picnic in, in Los Angeles. 
instead of pitching horseshoes, everyone was pitching blank. Can you repeat it? Sure. I just got back from a picnic in Los Angeles. And instead of pitching horseshoes, everyone was pitching blank. Instead of pitching horseshoes, everyone was pitching blank. All right. I actually haven't been to LA in a while, but I have no uh, plans. All right. So Steve just got back from a picnic in LA. Instead of pitching horseshoes, everyone was pitching. They're pitching their scripts. Sure. Pitching their scripts. Absolutely. That seems like the, uh, the, uh, the simple answer. So we're looking for scripts. Uh, Andy, what did you say they were pitching? What game shows on Zoom? <laughs> what kind of an <laughs> asshole would pitch that? That is a fucking pass. In you don't a major need to pitch way. that. You can just make it. That's right. Every every network pit passed on me. I said network schmetwork. Exactly. <laughs> we'll do this ourselves. DIY. All right. So that's not a match. Jessica, what'd you say? I guess this doesn't count, but I said movie ideas. Uh, what'd you say? Script. Script. Oh, I think that counts. Yeah, we'll. Get, I'll, I'll give you points for that. There you go. There's a ding-a-ling. Sure. Since he said script, we can match a general to a specific, but not a specific to a general. All right, Patrick, what'd you say? We're looking for script. I said Botox. <laughs> Pitching their own Botox. It's a big yeah. business, but no match. Uh, Brian, what'd you say? I said that they were pitching the Jimmy Choo's. The Jimmy Choo's, sure. <laughs> Instead of horseshoes, Jimmy Choo's. Jimmy Choo's. Yeah, I get it. Nice. I was thinking instead of horseshoes, they're pitching horse shit. But uh, anyway, uh, Hannah, we're looking for scripts or something like that. What'd you say? Uh, I have my script about teen girls who mutate. Please green light it. It always gets to the second meeting with a production company and then nothing. <laughs> I think that counts. I was going to write that down, but I decided to go with scripts instead. Thing is, I was interested in your pitch until you said girls, and then I tuned out. But, oh. but that's a match, So that, that and that's the most popular answer. So that's three, too points. Weird. That's three points for you. Yeah, no one would buy it. Uh, all right, Celia, uh, you're last. We're looking for scripts or something uh, com comparable. Oddly enough, like, and I get if this doesn't count, but I put scripts slash jokes. Scripts slash jokes, I think that counts. Uh, as long as you said scripts, that works. So that's another three points for Celia. Cause that that's good is... for ideas, but I know LA people don't have those. <laughs> Ooh, burn. Are we in a fight we don't know about? That's terrible. It's like a LA versus Phoenix rivalry here. But we don't care. No, about it's LA it's versus. Not a rivalry if you're fucking incompetent. Yeah, it's well. kind of it's kind of like the LA versus Sorry, Chicago rivalry that LA also doesn't know about. Right? Exactly. <laughs> LA's yeah. LA no, has, is... has more important things to worry about than a rivalry. I think. Now, you you are aware of the LA San Francisco here, rivalry. Like, about yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right uh last chance to score points here we go remember two people are going to be eliminated here's the last question uh i'm not sure i like my new doctor whenever he takes my temperature his nurse takes my blank yeah i'm not sure i'm a fan of this new doctor guys whenever he takes my temperature his nurse takes my blank and I watched a match game the other day. Don Adams was on it. That was oh, wow. weird. Everybody kept doing impressions of him. <laughs> and he got did they mad. Miss the, did, did they miss it by that much? <laughs> they did every bit of his. And he was like, enough. Because you know he, get, he got that everywhere he went, of course. Oh, sure. Have you seen the, the Drag Race parodies of match game? No. Oh. I, I haven't watched Drag Race. It's on. It's on my list. As soon as we get through every America's Next Top Model, we're gonna start watching Drag Race. So. You'll never get through every America's uh, Next Top Model because there's like 80 million. No, we're on season 20 now. So, and I actually already watched them all. My wife didn't see the early episodes, so we're on that. We're on the first season where it was guys and girls. So I used to have a fantasy America's Next Top Model team instead of fantasy football. It was fantasy America's Next Top Model. Absolutely. I could give you my top 10 America's Next Top Models. All right. Uh, Steve, I'm not sure I like my new doctor. Whenever he takes my temperature, his nurse takes my... Wallet. Wallet. Yeah, that's very match game answer. All right. It could uh, not be doing that. That's the insurance company's job. <laughs> yeah, this was written before uh, Medicare. All right, so we're looking for wallet. 
Andy. What do you think? Every time he takes my temperature, his nurse takes my wallet. Well done, Andy. Oh. All right. That's points for Andy. Well done. Uh, Jessica, we're looking for wallet. What'd you say? Wallet. wallet. That's another one. Three points for Andy. Three points for Jessica. Uh, Patrick, what did you say? Wallet or something else? Shoelaces. <laughs> Wait. Okay. I'm not going to press you on an explanation. If you don't have anything, that's fine. Uh, I, get, I get it. I get it. I'm, I'm with you. All right. Andy's on board. Um, but that's not a match, sadly. Uh, Brian, we're looking for wallet. What'd you say? Bingo. Wallet. Damn. Nice. Yeah. Well done, Dunk. All right. That's three points for Dunk. Uh, Hannah, what did you say? Wallet? Got the W right. What'd you say? <laughs> Not, so much. Not so much with the matching. Okay. Um, and uh, Celia, what did you say? Did you go with wallet as well? Unfortunately, I put credit card information. <laughs> well, they're going to need that anyways. All right. So that's not a match. Well, that brings us to the end of the match game round. So, Steve, why don't you recap the scores? Tell us who's eliminated this round. We have Jessica in the lead with 17 points, Woo! followed by Patrick with nine. Nice. Celia and Brian. Uh, Andy, with, uh, Andy with 10. And then Celia and Brian with nine apiece and Hannah with eight. Oh, wow. So that uh. means Hana is last, so she's definitely eliminated. Uh, but we have a tie for uh, for the second for last place, which means you guys get to stick around because you can't be eliminated on a tie. So that means Hana, I'm sorry, you have been eliminated. Give her a hand, everybody. She did her best. Yay. But you will get to come back later on in the game and try to uh, try to come back in the final round. So stick around, everybody. All right, so Hana, Hana Michaels, everybody, give her a hand. Thanks for playing, Hana. Uh, White here. please, best that's, answer. That's for you. Answer of the uh, answer of the night. Yes, one of the best ones. All right. Uh, so that means everybody but Hana is in this next round. Uh, let's go ahead and play uh, my favorite round. The Price is Right. I mean, yeah. name that too. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, fucking idiot. paying attention. Yeah, I'm deep into these beers. <laughs> All right. I got a crystal light and vodka, so we're good. Lightweight. All right, so here's how we do name that tune. Um, all right, so all of you, uh, let me uh, – I texted you the uh, – I texted Andy the website. Uh, let me text you guys this link to go to because we're going to use a uh, buzz-in system. Uh, it's uh, buzzin.live, so that's in the chat there. Where's my phone? Did you get it? So just go to that website and do go we ahead. we need our phone or we can do it on our you computer? Can, either one. You can do it on your phone. Okay. You can do it on your uh, computer. You can do it on your mobile device. Whatever you want. Okay. I gotta, I'm got. i going to send you a new uh, code there, Andy. Um, oh, okay, thank you. All right. Yeah, so I, was, I was in it before and it didn't work. Yeah, there you go. Uh, it kicked all right. Me out. So here is the code. I'm sending you guys the code right now. So put in that code and put in your name. And uh, once everybody's registered. God damn it. Once everybody's registered, uh, we will start. So here's how Name That Tune works. Uh, I got some songs. I'm going to play them. And uh, if you think you know the song, just go ahead and buzz in. Now, um, I don't care. God damn it. Uh, I don't care who is singing the song. I only care the, about the name of the song, okay? Let me write this down. So, uh, all you got to do is buzz in when you know the name of the song, okay? Now, I will tell you that uh, I'm sending that to you right now, Andy. Now, last time we played, all the songs I had were sung by game show hosts, all right? Uh, and Jackie Cation gave me shit because they were all dude game show hosts. And I pride myself in being woke. So, this week, they're all female game show hosts, all right? So nice. All these songs are sung by female game show hosts. So when you buzz in and you know the name of the song, if you get it right, I'll give you a point. And then if you can tell me who the who the is singing it, who the female game show host is who's singing it, I'll give you a bonus point. All right? Everybody understand how to play? Here yeah. we go. Listen close and name. Everybody's logged in here, right? One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. All right. Buzz in when you know the name of this song. Name this song. There's a somebody I'm longing to see. I hope to 
Are we supposed to hear it? Can you not hear it? No. It's oh, here. shit. Hold on. No, and I'm not logged in either, so. Oh, well, well. I, I never. Didn't okay, I just I got, said, You got it? Yeah, yeah I, I got it. I got it now. It All took right, a good. second. Well, that worked because it wasn't fair. All right. I'm so sorry. that means that means somebody's, but somebody's logged in who shouldn't be. Well, who do I got? Patrick? Oh, yeah. Hannah's, Hannah logged in because, I don't know, just for fun. But, okay. Uh, well, that's fine. All right. I'm in now. All right. So everybody's logged in. Here we go. Stop buzzing in before you have the song. Or are you? Do you know what it is, huh, Acelia? Did you just buzz in? How could you? Nobody heard it. All right, here we go. Name this song. Fuck. All right, that was uh, Jessica who buzzed in first. What's the name of that song, Jessica? Someone to watch over me. That's right. It is someone to watch over me. <laughs> Listen and tell me if you can tell me who's singing. Here it is. Somebody I'm longing to see. I hope that he oh, Any idea who that is? I don't think she hosted a game show, but Patsy Cline. No, that's Betty White. A very <gasps> ah, that's that, really. It's a very that's young, awesome. A very young Betty White. Yeah. All right. So that's one point for Wait, Jessica. They, they had they had recorded sound yeah. when there was a very yeah. Betty White. Hey, you ever see that nude picture of Betty White? Cheesecake shot. Bonus, man. Nice stuff. All right. New song. Buzzers reset. Buzz in. Name this tune. Oh, Jessica buzzed in. Jessica, what is that? It's Call Me Maybe. Yes, it's Call Me Maybe. Very good. Can you tell me who's singing it? Here... Here it is it's again. A game show host? Here it is. But here's my number. So call me maybe. Any idea? Ellen. No, good guess. That's Meredith Vieira. Host of the syndicated Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. All right. One more, one more point for Jessica. Good job. All right, here we go. Buzzers reset. Jessica's running away with it, guys. Name this tune. This one's tough. Ah, oh, that's Patrick buzzing in first. What's that song, Patrick? It's the ABCs. It is the ABC song. Well done. <laughs> Listen close. Tell me if you can uh, if you can figure out who's singing. H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Any idea? I'm gonna say it's Destiny's Child. <laughs> All three of them. Yeah, it's the whole, the whole It thing. is not. That's Tyra Banks on an episode of Sesame Street. She's singing with the letter A. They're doing a number together. So it's <laughs> Tyra Banks. But that's one point for you, Patrick. All right. Uh, here we go. Buzzers reset. Buzz in when you know this one. Name this tune. Patrick buzzed in first. What is it? Um, is it Vogue? It is Vogue. Yeah. Well nice. done by Madonna. Can you tell me who's singing it? I don't recognize the idea. That no, I'm any... gonna say uh, Paul Abdul. Mm. Good guess. Does anybody have a guess? Anyone? It's Jane Lynch. That's, I, know. I was like, there's no way it's Jane Lynch. Well, it's from an episode of Glee, so it's very Glee. auto too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she hosts a uh, family game night or some bullshit. All right, here we go. Buzzers <laughs> reset. That's a point for Patrick. Buzzers reset. Name this tune. <laughs> ah, Celia buzzed in first. <laughs> Hold on, Celia. Let me unmute, unmute you. Uh, what was that song, Celia? She's still muted. She, she looks frozen. Unmute audio. I don't know. Are you are you froze, Celia? Yeah. I, I think she muted her own audio. Yeah. I think you muted. Oh, there you go. What is it, Celia? Total eclipse of the heart. There you go. Yeah. Total eclipse of the heart. Can you tell me who's singing it? Listen close. It's Josh Groban and a female game show host. Who do you think it is? Turn 
Oh. Any ideas, Celia? No, I don't. Can I steal? Can I steal? No, you can guess it for fun, though. Mm -hmm. Ellen. Yes, that was Ellen DeGeneres from her <laughs> shitty talk nice. show, singing with Josh Groban. All right. The nice person in town. Yeah, right? All right, that's a point for Celia. Well done. All right, so these next songs, I'm going to make it a little harder. You're still buzzing in, but these songs are now mashups. Okay, they're not song by game show hosts, so forget about that. But they are two songs mashed together. So when you mm. buzz in, make sure you tell me both of the songs that are in the mashup. All right? Don't buzz in unless you know both songs. All right? Here we go. Here is song number one. Name these tunes. There's a buzz in from Dunkelman. What do you say, Brian? That's going to be uh, Welcome to the Jungle and Living Just Enough for the City. So close, but not correct. Oh. Ah, God damn I'll play it again. It. Buzzers reset. Patrick, you buzzed in second. What do you think? It's Paradise City. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, That's what I meant. <laughs> Yes, it's Paradise City and Living for the City. So close, Dunk. Ah, so close. All right. Do they always have words in common? What? they always have words in no, common? No, no, not at all. Don't even look for that. It's not even close. Uh, okay. All right. Um, so that's a, another point for Patrick. He's running away with it. Here we go. Buzzers reset. Name these tunes. That's Patrick. What do you say? It's uh, I heard it through the grapevine. And? And um, is it had enough? It is not mm -hmm. that. No, I got Buzzers it. Buzzers reset. Dunkelman, what do you say? Round and round. That is. It's uh, round and round by the rats and heard it through the grapevine nice. by Marvin and the gaze. All right. Uh, so uh, Dunkelman gets a point on that one. Well done. I do reset the buzzers every time, by the way, uh, when someone gets it wrong. So you're going to have to buzz in again. All right. Uh, that's one point for Dunk. And Good that. job. Here we go. Buzzers reset. Name these tunes. That's Dunk again. What are those songs? No rain, and we're not going to take it. Oh, on fire. Nice. He's coming back. That's No nice. Rain by the Blind Melons, and of course, not going to take it by Twisted and the Sisters. Good job. All right. Moving on. That's a point for Duck. Uh, here we go. Uh, buzzers reset. Name these tunes. That's Jessica buzzed in first. What are those songs, Jessica? Uh, this is America and September. Well done. That's This is America by Childish Gambinos and September by Earth, Wind, and the Fire. Nice. Excellent. Nicely done. Very good, very that good. That is a good mashup. All right, last chance. Now, at the end of this round, since no one got, since we had a bonus, the people with the three lowest scores are going to be eliminated. That leaves us with how many? Two, right? Yeah, so or two or three. <laughs> How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five. five. Right? And so we eliminate three. Okay. So we're going to have we to eliminate two. three people at the end of this round to go into the semifinals. All right? So here's your last chance. Name these tunes. Oh, shit. We got an early buzz in, Andy. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's uh, it's it's uh, September was going on in there, and also we are family. So you think it's September and we are family? Mm. That is incorrect. Mm, all right. Buzzers reset. Here it is. Here, uh, here it is again. Somebody told me the world is gonna <laughs> all right. <laughs> 
That's Patrick who buzzed in first. What is it, Patrick? All Star. Yes, it's September and All Star. It's a fucking dance party, y'all. Nice. Was this from the Sturgis rally? Yeah. <laughs> They were jamming to this. Yeah, they were just all week, all those motorcyclists, man. Hell yes. That is the fucking jam for sure. All right. That is the last song on the list. Good job, Patrick. You got them both. Steve. Yeah, good job. Give us a recap. Let's see yeah. who's going on to the final round. We have Jessica in the lead with 20. Nice. Followed by Patrick with 16. Ouch. And then Andy, Brian, and Celia with 10 apiece. Oh, my God. Wow. That means all three of you have been eliminated, Andy, Brian, and Celia. So the, uh, and uh, Jessica and Patrick are going on to the final round. Uh, give them a hand, everybody. Give Andy, Brian, and Celia a hand. Good job, guys. Thanks, everybody. You killed it. Stick around, though, because you will get to come back for the final round, okay? Uh, That's so how you time finish. for a cocktail and ice cream. Hold yeah, on. Exactly. Take a big break. Take a T.O. All Someone right. Someone give me a white claw. So we're going to move on to the, uh, the bit of note round, Jessica and Patrick. The way this works is I've taken five songs and I've cut them down into five, four, three, two, and one second bits. All right. Each of you, I will read a clue as to what the name of the song is. You then have to tell me how many seconds it will take you to guess that song. All right. Now, uh, if you guess it in five seconds, you get one point. If you guess it in one second, you get five points and so forth and so on. But be careful because if you guess wrong, your opponent automatically gets those points. All right. Now, uh, if you feel like you know the song just based on the clue alone, you can go ahead and try to answer it based on the clue alone. And if you get it right, you'll get 10 points. However, if you get it wrong, of course, the opponent gets 10 points. So make sure you're sure about it. All right? Does everybody do we have understand? To, Go do ahead. we have to buzz in again? No, no more buzzing. Don't even worry okay. about buzzing. It's okay. no longer a thing. Uh, all right? So, uh, Steve, uh, recap the score again. Let's see who's doing what. Uh, Jessica with 20 and Patrick with 16. All right. So, uh, Patrick, since you're in second place here, uh, you'll get to bid first, okay? I'm going to read you a clue. Okay. As to what this song is, and you tell me how many seconds it will take you to guess this song, all right? Here's your clue. Trevor Horn wrote this song after reading a science fiction story about an opera singer in a world without sound. Trevor Horn wrote this song after reading a science fiction story about an opera singer in a world without sound. Patrick, I'm going to say... How many seconds will it take you to name this song? Let's say four seconds. Okay, so he's bidding four seconds. Jessica, can you do it in less than four seconds? Can I all, I can't also say four, can no, I? No, he bid no. four. I didn't know if we could say the same thing. Uh, I'll say five. Well, no, you can't bid five. He bid four. You have to bid in less or, or just challenge him to name it. Uh, well, that's what I mean. I challenge him to name it. Okay, so Patrick, okay. I'm going to play four seconds of this song. If you get it right, you get two points. If not, Jessica gets the two points. You ready? Once okay. again, here's the clue. Trevor Horn wrote this song after reading a science fiction story about an opera singer in a world without sound. Here's your four seconds. Yeah, program's opening up. Here it comes. We can't hear you. Here it is. Here it comes. It's coming. There's your four seconds. Do you need to hear it again? No. Okay, what's that song? Video <laughs> Killed the Radio Star. It is Video Killed the Radio Star. All well right, done. All right. So you get two points for that. Good job, Patrick. All right. Uh, so now, uh, since he got that one right, Jessica, you get to bid first on this one. Here's your clue. For a while, this song was the adopted theme song for the Los Angeles Lakers baseball t uh, basketball team. <laughs> Once again, for a while... This was the adopted theme song for the L.A. Lakers basketball team. How many seconds will it take you to guess this song? Two. Damn, she's going to do it in two seconds, Patrick. Can you do it in less than that? She's from L.A. Yep. Oof. Um, you know what? Let, I, 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 let's call her out. Let's see her do it. All right, so if you can get let's it in press. two seconds, you get four points. If not, Patrick gets those points. Here's the clue once again. For a while, this was the adopted theme song for the Los Angeles Lakers basketball team. Here's your two seconds. 
<laughs> Do you need to hear it again? Here it is again. <laughs> All right, Jessica, what is that song? That's I Love LA. There you go, by Randy <laughs> and the Newmans. Good job, the unofficial song. We all love it, absolutely. All right, so that's four points for you, Jessica. Well played. Um, all right, Patrick, this one's yours. Here's your clue. This song was originally a hit in Europe in 1982. A year later, with the advent of MTV, it reached the number one spot in the U.S. Once again, this song was originally a hit in Europe in 1982. And a year later, with the advent of MTV, it reached the number one spot in the U.S. I'll go two seconds. Damn, he's going to go for two seconds. Jessica, can you get it in less than that? Yeah, I'm going to say one second. Let's do this. Oh, shit. She's going to do it in one second. Patrick, can you do it in zero? Or do you want uh, Jessica to name it? I would like her to name it. All right. So, Jessica, I'm going to play you one second of this song. If you get it right, you get five points. If not, those five points go to Patrick. You ready? Okay. Here's the clue again. This song was originally a hit in Europe in 1982. <laughs> a year later, with the advent of MTV, it reached the number one spot in the U.S. Here's your one second. Oh. That's it. Would you like to hear it again? <laughs> yes, please. All right, here it is again. I know this, but... Oh, sorry, one more time? I talked over it. There it is. I gave you two. You know what it is? It's Annie Lennox something. I need the name of the song. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, oh. Uh, some of them want to control you. Some of them want to That's not an answer. <laughs> yeah, I, I need an answer, Jessica. <laughs> Uh, God damn it. I can't think of the name. It's a very well, long it, Everybody, well, who, what is it, everybody? Well, she's going to dream about it tonight. Yes, it's sweet it won't be dreams sweet. are won't made of uh, this. Damn. All right. So, uh, wow, that was a bold move, Jessica, but it did not pay yeah, off. I thought it was going to be Take On Me. So oh, I, yeah. I did, too. Honestly, okay. I would have I I like guessed on if I, no, I would have like, gone for the 10-point guess on Take On Me. Yeah, they have a cool video, so MTV would have, anyway. Absolutely. It's all educated guesses, but <laughs> wrong. Uh, so that so that five points goes to Patrick because he got it right. Uh, we got two more left. Let's recap the scores and see where we stand, Steve. Uh, it's very close. Patrick with 23, Jessica with 22. All right, so it's anybody's game at this point. Okay, All right. I thought I had 24. Okay, never mind. Here's you the, lose points. Steve is good with the numbers. Uh, okay. Here is uh, your next clue. All right, so uh, uh, Patrick, you get to bid first because uh, Jessica bid first on the last one. Here we go, Patrick. This song helped keep its singer in the spotlight. Wait, that's not true. He bid first last time, didn't he? No, you did. You just got no, it he wrong. No, two, and then I said one. Oh, okay. He's, you're right. Uh, Jessica's right. Jessica's you're right. correct. Okay. Okay. All right, no, Jessica. No, I'm glad you're paying attention. <laughs> Look, I just do what they tell me. I, I just go with what yeah. they tell me. All right, Jessica, here's your clue. This song helped keep its singer in the spotlight in the summer of 1985 while his group was inactive. This song helped keep its singer in the spotlight in the summer of 1985 while his group was inactive. How many okay. seconds? I'm going to say two. She's going to name that song in two seconds. Patrick, can you do it in less than that? I cannot. I'm going to make her name that tune. All right. So, Jessica, I'm going to play two seconds of this song. If you get it right, you get four points. If not, those four points go to Patrick. Here's the clue again. This song helped keep its singer in the spotlight in the summer of 1985 while his group was inactive. Here's your two seconds. Oh, that's tough. <laughs> you want to hear it again? Yes. All right, here it is again, your two seconds. That's it. What do you think? I got nothing. No idea, no guess. You that just... song instantly materialized the generation gap. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> yeah. Born in 85 and yeah. not in the summer. So. That's okay. Do you have any idea, Patrick? You got the points anyways. Do you want to guess? I have no clue. Anyone besides me and Steve? Boozy, boozy, bop. Yeah. Bop. Yes. It's uh, <laughs> David Lee Roth with Just a Gigolo. I'm just a gigolo. Everywhere I go. Yes. All, in, in, case, in case you haven't guessed, all these songs are early MTV videos. 
Yeah, they're not from the century. I noticed. No, not even close. <laughs> I did notice that. Uh, all right. So uh, that's uh, four points to Patrick because she could not get it. Here, here's the five seconds. So in case you uh, want to guess it your own self, uh, David Lee Ross' biggest hit. There you go. Just a gigolo. All right. Um, so that's uh, four points for Patrick. I assume it's still close. Uh, Steve, what's the score? Uh, 27, Patrick. 22, Jessica. I'm really sorry, but it was 20 when we started this round, and then I got one, and it's 24 now, I swear. Hold on a oh. second. I have a sound effect for this. <laughs> it it, was, it All right. was 23, Now that 22. Jessica's brought the show to a screeching halt. Yeah, but that was wrong. Okay, sorry. I'm done. Well, no, no, no. I'm like, the math is wrong. I feel like Check the tape. <laughs> fine. It's, you okay, guys so realize there's I, no actual prizes, right? <laughs> <laughs> it was Phoenix against Seven LA, people. apparently. But we get to oh. play next yeah, week. Yeah, I didn't so. know that was a thing, but. But the the champ, yes, the champion gets to play next week. Steve has the final sc say because I don't keep track. So once again, Steve, what is the score? Uh, Patrick twenty-seven, Jessica twenty-four. Okay, so Jessica, you need to score at least four points in this next round to beat Patrick, okay? Okay. So okay. I will let you bid first. Here's the clue. This song got a boost when the band performed it on the variety show Shindig. This song got a boost when the band performed it on the variety show Shindig. How many seconds do you think it'll take you to guess this song? I don't know, but they need to bring that shit back. My <laughs> Wait, it's my turn. It's my turn to bid, right? Yes, yes. Uh, can I just say make him name it? Because I can't. If if well, you I mean, if you bid, you got to bid at least Five. four points. Five, okay. Okay, so but I mean, you can bid three, and then if you know, I, my point is. Oh, I get it. Yeah, okay. my point is Patrick is in the uh, the winner spot here, so he can make you name it. You have to bid at least four to win. But, so are you okay. gonna bid? Are you bidding five then, or what? I'm bidding five. So okay. let's see cool. if he goes lower or challenges. Well, I'm just gonna make you name it, and then I still win. Right. right. So here. Right. So or he or you could just b guess it on the clue. Maybe Patrick, that was and, my poker face. You yeah. Never know. Uh, all right. Fun. So uh, here's the deal, Jessica. I'm gonna play you one second one of this song. If you get it right, you will uh, be the winner. If you get it wrong, those four points will go to Patrick, and he will go on to the final round. You ready? Okay. Okay. Yeah. I thought you bid five seconds. Did you change it? I said five, yeah. yeah. What did I you say? said five seconds. Oh. You said you said one second. Yeah, so she's going for one point. One second. No. Oh, you want five seconds? Yeah. This shit's oh, going shit. off the rails. Yeah, right? Too many beers. All right. This so here's Zoom the thing. If you get, if you, even if you get it in five seconds, you'll only get one point, and you uh, won't win. Uh, eh, it's what it is. All right, then. Here's your five seconds, Jessica. Okay. Name this to me. <laughs> there you go. Do you know what that song is? It's Unchained Melody by the Righteous Brothers. <laughs> no, it's not. It's You've Lost That Love and Feeling, love and feeling by, by the, the Righteous guy. Brothers. I thought that was called... I you thought that the was the one of the questions. Not that it matters. Even if you had gotten it right, you would only got one point, which wouldn't have been enough. Because right. Patrick is our champion, ladies and gentlemen. Give him a hand. Patrick. The new champion. All right. That means, Patrick, you move on to our final round. You're in the big chair. The final round. Who wants to beat the geek? We don't really have a name for it yet. That's what I'm calling it. Here's how the final round final works. Final round. Here's how it works. Uh, before the show, I asked everybody what they were an expert in, all right? And Steve and I wrote questions based on what you guys told us. So here's how it's going to work, Patrick. One by one, I'm going to go through all the eliminated contestants, and I'm going to come up with a question in their chosen category. You tell me if you want to answer the question. What the fuck? My microphone. <laughs> you tell me if you want to answer the question or if you want the expert to answer the question, all right? If you choose to answer it and you get it right, you move on. But if they but if you get it wrong or if they answer it correctly, they take your seat in the champion seat and they move on. All right? Everybody All right. understand? Yeah. Excellent. Here we go. Let's play. So the first person eliminated was Hannah. So let's go to Hannah. She said she was an expert in Steven Universe, the animated show Steven Universe. 
So Patrick, would you like to answer the Steven Universe question or would you like to have Hana answer the Steven Universe question? Um, I need Hana. I don't, I don't know anything about Steven Universe. So yeah. let's, okay. not, let's never take a stab at it. So you're hoping that this is too hard for her and she doesn't get it, all right? So here's the question, Hana, about Steven Universe. The character Sugarlight was voiced by which famous singer? The character Sugarlight was voiced by which famous singer? I'm gonna kick myself because I can. I can. No. I just watched this episode. You got an answer? I don't have an answer. You don't have. You don't even want to throw out a guess. The sound effects supposed to keep playing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Until she answers. Building <laughs> drama. It shouldn't though. Yeah. Just say a famous singer. Uh, I need. I. I don't. I, uh, well. It's that, just gonna be making this like Jewish throat noise. Uh, all right. Well, that's wrong. I don't know what that is, but it's wrong. The answer is Rihanna. Rihanna was the famous singer who wow. did the voice of Sugar Light. So uh, Hannah got that wrong. So she's eliminated, which means congratulations, Patrick. You move on to the next one. Good job. Here we go. Next person eliminated. Let's go with uh, Andy. Andy was eliminated next, the former champ. Now, Andy said he was an expert in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. All right. So Patrick, would you, would you like to answer this question? Or would you like to have Andy yeah. answer it? I want to answer the question. All right. So here's, uh, I'm going to ask you a question about the Marvel Cinematic Universe. If you get it right, you move on. If not, Andy moves on in your place. All right? Here we go. This is how I stole it last week, by this the way. This is exactly how he stole it. Here you go. Here's your question, Patrick. In the movie Thor Ragnarok, what famous actor portrayed Loki in the fictional stage play about his life? Oh, um, it was Matt Damon. You say Matt Damon was the one who played Loki. Is that your final answer? Yes. Matt Damon played Loki in that early scene in Thor Ragnarok. And that is correct. Well done, Patrick. Yay. Uh, Matt Damon was playing himself, apparently. All right, good job. Sorry, Andy. Uh, you don't get oh. to return as the champion. Patrick's running away with it. Good job. All right. Uh, next person eliminated. Let's go with Celia. Celia was the next contestant eliminated. Now, Celia told me she was an expert in killer whales. Celia says she's an expert in killer whales. That is not a <laughs> metaphor. She literally means she's an expert in killer whales. So, Patrick, do you want to answer this question about killer whales, or do you want to have Celia answer it? I want to have her answer it. I, I'm really curious now. So All let's, right. Let's see yeah. what she's got. Yeah, I, I, I don't blame you. Okay, yeah. so Celia, I'm going to answer you. Oh, this no, question. my phone died. What? <laughs> oh, I get the point. Oh, Perfect. Ah, Jesus, and now she's froze. Yeah, right. Oh, no. Yeah, there it goes. Well, here's the question then. I don't think she's going to come back. I'm not fucking waiting. Here's the question, Patrick. I'll give you a pass just for fun. The black and white sea creature that most people know as killer whales are not whales, but are actually the largest of what mammal? Sharks? Sharks is not correct. Anybody know? Yes, Andy. No. Dolphin. Yes, they're dolphins. Killer whales are actually dolphins. All right. That was just for fun. All right. So the, ne the last person eliminated was Brian. Brian Dunkelman said he was an expert in golf. So I came up with a golf question. Uh, Patrick, what, what do you think? Do you want to answer this question? Or you want to have Brian answer it? Because if you don't, if, if you get this right, you will move on and just have to face Jessica last. And if you get that right, you're the new champion. What do you think? Do you Wait, wanna... say that again. If I, if I get it right, I if, face Jessica. If you beat Brian and Jessica, you're the new champ. But if Brian oh. answers this question right, he takes over. It's about golf. What do you think? I don't know shit about golf. And I think he's bluffing and pretending he doesn't know much about golf, right? He is an old white man, so... Yeah, exactly. He looks pretty racist, so yeah. he's probably good at golf. He looks old, rich. Old, yeah. old yeah. white, rich, yeah. and straight. He's all yeah, those things. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. The balls are white, man. They're white for a reason. <laughs> Um, all right. You so, know, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Ryan. All right, Dunk. So all here's right. your golf question. If you get this right, 
you move on in the final round. You only got to answer two questions to be the new champ. But here it is. In 2000, the PGA had two stops in Canada. Name either one of them. In 2000, the PGA had two stops in Canada. Name either one of them. Are we looking for city? Well, what the uh, what the what the tournament was called? What that particular? Uh, the, ca the Canadian Open. Your the Canadian Open is your name is is the answer you're giving me? Yeah. I do need the full name of the of the tournament. So you're saying it's the Canadian Open? The, can, the Canadian Golf Tournament? Op the Canadian Open. So, I, I don't know. Canadian Open. Is that your final answer? Yeah, I got to go with that. All right. They were the Greater Vancouver Open and the Bell Canadian Open. Ah, the Bell Canadian Open. Oh, God Canadian damn. Ah, oh, so close. Sponsors. That was very you know, close, very impressive. Corporations. Guys. Yeah, Understood. right? Remember the good old days? Good old days before the Bell Company. It wasn't fucking... Bell when I was a kid, I'll tell you that shit. All right, so Patrick, whoops. So Patrick, that means if you can answer one more question and get through, you will be the new champion. But if Jessica can answer her question, she's the new champ. And you can win zero dollars. Wait a minute, sell, sell back. back, let me mute her. Okay. So, he, the, so uh, Jessica said she was an expert in grammar. Patrick, Jessica said she was a grammar expert. Do you want to answer the grammar question, or do you want to have Jessica answer it? Now, I got to go for it. Yeah? I got to go for okay, it, Okay, right? so if you answer yeah, this correctly, it. you will nice. be the new champion. You ready? Go for it. All right, so here's your grammar question, Patrick. Infinitive is another word for what basic grammar term? The word infinitive is another word for what basic grammar term? Like what kind of word is it? Or... Well, there's another grammar term that basically means the same thing as infinitive. What is it? Weird Any question. idea? Well, it's, it's weird. It's, I mean, I want to say, I want to say what kind of word it is. I don't understand the term. Well, there's a, I, I don't know if I can make it any clearer. There's another word for infinitive, and that word is a basic grammar term that we're all familiar with. What is it? You can make a guess if you want. I'm just thinking of like synonyms. Okay. Uh, like, no, 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 like synonyms of like, the word infinitive. Yeah, I know synonyms. Uh, the term synonym. Not the term synonym. So that's not my answer. <laughs> What Slow is, down, huh? what is your down. answer, though? I don't have one this second. Um, well, I could still get it wrong, right? And you could win. Yeah, it's, oh, well, no, oh. because he chose to answer it. So you don't, you, oh, you don't have to answer it. You're basically about to win because I'm not going to get this right. Well, this is, so just go ahead and pop your shit. Go ahead and, go ahead and guess. Sorry, I love you. Infinitive is another term for a grammar term. Which is? <laughs> Infinitive. You could just guess any grammar term. No, because I can get. I'm gonna guess the wrong one. Don't rush me. <laughs> well, yes, chances are you'll guess the wrong one. But it's, if you don't say anything, you'll definitely not get definitely the right no, answer. I, I'm just. I don't know the answer. Let's say adjective. All right, adjective. Is that your final answer? Unfortunately, yeah. Patrick says adjective. An infinitive is another word for a verb. Verb. She wrote it down. She knew it anyways. But it's not over, Patrick, because oh, Jessica what? doesn't get the chair that easily. In oh, order, no. in order to be the champion, she has to answer a trivia question in your chosen category. <laughs> and Patrick's chosen category was '90s grunge bands. So Jessica, what? it all okay. comes down to this: you can answer the question. You have to choose. Do you want to answer the question about '90s grunge bands? Or do you want to have Patrick answer it? If you get it right, you're the new champion. If not, Patrick is the new champion. What would you like to do? Oh, I only know a few, and they're very easy. So I guess let's make Patrick answer. Okay, Patrick, she wants you to answer the 90s grunge band's 
question. If you get it right, you're the champ. If not, Jessica's our new champion. You ready? Here we go. Mm -hmm. Pearl Jam have only released four music videos. Jeremy was a very popular video and introduced them to the mainstream. They also did a video for Alive. And their last video was Do the Evolution. What was the other video? Pearl Jam have only released four music videos. Jeremy was very popular and introduced them to the mainstream. Then they did a video for Alive. And their last video was Do the Evolution. What was the other video? Oh, was it intentionally snarky to make a grunge question about Pearl Jam? <laughs> you have to ask our writers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was going to say. Um, <laughs> I googled that grunge is really trivia. good. That's what <laughs> I'm torn. I'm thinking it's not why go. It's not rearview mirror. It might be worldwide suicide. You know what? Let's move. It is a um, very important answer. Yeah, if obviously. You get it right. You're the champ. If not, Jessica is the champ. Yeah. You get all Let's the benefits. Say... <laughs> Let's say the song. Um... I'm sorry. I keep taking too long on these answers. Let's say rear view mirror. Rear view mirror is the other video you say. Is that your final answer? Yes. You say rear view mirror is the other video they made. The correct answer is in fact even flow oh, even flow even flow was the third video which means jessica lovelace chandler is our champion everybody give her a hand everyone Woo! jessica not, lovelace everybody. chandler she is the champ and she will be back in two weeks to defend her title that is the show everybody sing along with me well all right okay you win you are the champion well all right <laughs> okay, you win, but can you do it again? You won the game tonight, and everybody's feeling right. Good night, everybody. Wave goodbye, Yay. everyone. Hey, good night. Patrick, by the way, you good really you. scared me. You Congratulations, scared me. Jessica. I scared myself. Thank you. Sorry, I don't know the English language. Everybody well. watching, thank you. Bye. On behalf of Brian Dunkelman, and Andy Ashcraft, Hannah Michaels, Jessica Lovelace, Chandler, Patrick Aiken, Steve Mandel, and myself. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thank you for having us. Yeah, cheers, Paul. Thanks for.